as an industry-wide standard. This training gives candidates the necessary skills in project coordination, safety management, and regulatory awareness to function effectively as field supervisors across Canada. In BC, supervisors involved in the seismic sector are required by OHS law to meet this training standard. The term supervisor includes drill pushes, cat pushes, chainsaw crew supervisors, and any individual who directs the work of another within the seismic spectrum. The course covers field supervisor responsibilities for all phases of a seismic exploration project. Line preparation, survey, shot hole drilling, blasting, data recording, and reclamation. And identifies regulatory responsibilities pertaining to each phase of a project with an emphasis on safety and leadership skills. This highly interactive, modular-style computer-based course was developed with fish and wildlife experts and biologists to provide a higher level of wildlife awareness training. Only three hours in duration, it's deliverable in field and office settings via CD-ROM or the Internet. Narrated video provides a visual introduction to large ungulates, carnivores, noxious plants, and poisonous wildlife and an overview of disease transmission and regulatory compliance. The seismic industry uses helicopter transportation to mobilize crews and equipment during the survey, line construction and drilling phases, as well as for emergency response, rescue and firefighting. The CAGC's best practice on heli-portable operations sets standards for issues like emergency response plans, radio procedures, hazard maps, wildlife, hunting seasons, terrain assessment, landing zones, and so on. One example of a best practice is that heli-portable operations only take place during daylight hours as the helicopter is limited to visual flight rules. Another example is the type of long line used by the helicopter to haul equipment into difficult terrain, or the type of long line rescue equipment used to extract human cargo on a stretcher. Employers use this CAGC best practice as a guide for safe operations when conducting seismic work on Alberta's public highways. It addresses notification to the government of job duration and scope, signage, traffic control, flag person training, and PPE, and matters of public safety. The best practice documents include a traffic accommodation checklist, a task hazard analysis form, and signage placement diagrams. Seismic drilling is a complex and intricate undertaking, and drillers assume responsibility for on-site safety and supervision. Training is specified in accordance with the CAGC best practice on seismic drilling operations. A drill crew consists of a driller and a helper, one of which must be trained in first aid and hold a valid seismic blaster permit. A seismic driller is responsible for the safe working operation of a drilling rig, knowing and applying regulations and codes for the seismic industry and equipment ensuring the drill unit meets or exceeds all standards in relation to safety equipment, first aid supplies, placards and signage, explosive and detonator magazines, emergency shutdowns, and mechanism guards. Ensuring the drill unit is in good repair and safe operating condition. Ensuring that the helper is capable of operating, maintaining, and driving the drill unit. Supervision of the helper a level of physical fitness appropriate to the operation of a seismic drilling rig without threat to the health and safety of others. There is specific training required for workers engaged in seismic shot hole drilling and blasting activities. Seismic blaster safety sets the minimum industry standard for blasting in seismic exploration in Canada. Topics include principles of seismic exploration, explosives and accessories, storage and transportation, safe work practices, and government regulations. Students must be 18 with a minimum of six months experience as a blaster's assistant and a valid first aid certificate.
Successful completion of the course and the exam results in a seismic blaster permit valid for five years. Students then have the option to write the exam for an interprovincial seismic blasters permit recognized throughout the Yukon and Northwest Territories, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and BC. Environmental stewardship, remote locations, regulatory compliance, land permitting, safety, and competency training for workers. These and other issues demand our vigilance if Canada is to continue as a leader in oil and gas extraction. It is the wish of the CAGC and members of the geophysical community that this video brings about a greater public understanding of the challenges and benefits of the petroleum industry in general and the seismic industry in particular. It is talented people and their diverse skills that keep our industry thriving. We provide lucrative careers for men and women with opportunity for travel, outdoor adventure, scientific exploration and technical applications. We extend our sincere appreciation to the participants and viewers of SIM 2006 and hope to see you for SIM 2007.